North Shore Lawn Sprinkler is uh, directionally boring a gas line for me today so that we can install a standby generator here and had to get uh, underneath this driveway between the gas meter and where the generator is going to go here. We're halfway through the process now. He's got the rod drilled underground, popped out on the other end here. Generator is ultimately going to sit right there where those flags are at. So they're going to pull this pipe back through this way and hand dig it back up underneath of this pad here. on the clock. So at 6 o'clock, the blade's like this, you push it, it's going to go down. 12 o'clock, it's like this, it's going to come up. Oh, so, so you, you know you're it. going slightly up. up now. I'm at 12 o'clock, or 1 o'clock. So I'm actually trying to come up, because I'm already at negative 37 degrees. That thing's in the ground like this. Oh, I see. So you got to start coming up quick. I see. You're coming up pretty steep now. Down? I'm at negative 37. No, I'm saying you're aiming up now pretty drastically. I'm trying to come up as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. by the other side, I don't want to have to do too much digging. Did you grease them? Right. Yeah, you're going to want to get all the way tight now. All right, and now open up. So where's that? That's uh, obviously a bucket of grease. You just stick yeah. it on the joint. We're at two o'clock, so we're gonna slowly go around. You're one. You gotta go slowly around.
181. So where do you anticipate coming up over here? I'd say we gotta still come all the way up. Somewhere around there. Then you're gonna pull the pipe back through. Pull the pipe back through. And then, then hand it back until we're 18 inches deep and then swing it around. Okay. From the ground came a bubbling crew. Aha! Now you're just digging back to the point of the depth that you want you all just want it to be. Exactly. I mean we're gonna pull it back from there. So you're gonna end up instead of coming in behind this, you're gonna trench underneath of this pad. You have to, yeah. Yeah, that's why it's good to have the pad now. Well, you couldn't have much better dirt to hand dig in. <laughs> For my own. All right. Never done a direct repair before. Are you videoing? Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Now you gotta edit that. That's what I do all the time. Is this going on YouTube? Is it working? Probably. The whole thing. <laughs> Imagine how big the hole is in the ground, right? Yeah. So how many different sizes of those do you have? Are they all the same size? This, this is just the drill head. But we got reamers that go on here. Oh, so okay. on the way back, you don't need to locate it, right? So what we do is you put a reamer, and we got like a six-inch reamer, and a swivel on the end of the reamer. So you spin that reamer back on the way. Yeah. And then, 
uh, it then cuts the bigger hole, and then you got to swivel between that and the pipe, so the pipe doesn't rotate. Okay, so. I see. Why do we can't dig anything? Oh well, yeah, <laughs> it's not bad when you know what. But if you send Rego and Ty out, it takes the whole day. Yeah. So if uh, well, not necessarily Rego and Ty, but you send Baltazar or Avelino and uh, Gustavo, it takes them the whole day to do a job. And yeah, they do it, make it look real nice and clean. But you know, like you said, why do you hand dig a job? Yeah, uh, you gotta use rubber gloves for this, really. <laughs> 